Hello there. Now, mini disc. Very fun, very interesting, but can be complicated to record to because if you want to record from your computer, most people just think they do it with a normal audio cable, and you can do that, but that's just analog. As you can see here, if the camera would focus, it says optical line in so you can use a digital connection which is i recommend because otherwise it might end up too quiet you might have to record it again and nobody wants to do that so what what you probably want to do is record digitally from your computer but how you may ask well you could get an expensive sound card with a digital out you could get a motherboard with an optical out or as i have chosen is to get this little dac off amazon which has an optical out. So what I'll do is I'll just plug in the cable. It's one of those printer sort of cables. Yeah, so pretty run of the mill. Just pop it in there, if I can get it the right way up. There we are. Now I'm just gonna put it on the table. Um, move this totally genuine mini disc. Yeah, that's a floppy disc. Okay, um, and the mini disc over here. I'll put the DAC here. Put the cable into my computer, where else would it go? Pop it in the USB port. It is now plugged in, and you should be able to see it is lit up red around the optical port. So now what we need is the all-important digital optical cable, with one end as a normal, one end as a mini plug. So yeah, now just plug the normal end into the DAC. If I can actually get it in the hole, there you go. As you can see, it is now red for optical. Fiber optics, pretty cool. It, right, so now let's pop it into the optical line in socket. And now we should be able to record the disc. So we'll just open this up, pop in the disc. And shut the lid, obviously. And then when it loads up, what you want to do is press end search and then slide the record or just press record if you've got a newer mini display. So now it's ready to record. So now what you've got to do is play some audio off your computer. I'll just play a random song off my iTunes library. Uh, yeah, back in life, that's fine. And as you can see, it will automatically begin recording when I press play. If you were doing it through a line cable, you'd have to pause, play, and it's a bit of a pain. But with this, what you want to do is press play, and then it will start recording. Pretty neat, huh? So now, you can leave it going, and record the whole thing. If you want, you can turn off sync record, and add your own track mark, which I've just done. And that will just basically move the track on one, if you've got a new track coming. And, or you can just leave it synced if you've got it connected to a CD player, for example, and it will automatically add the gaps. So yeah, there you go. And then all you have to do is tighten it up using an, either a NetMD player or just by going through the awkward combination of buttons. So there you go. That's how you successfully record a mini disc. And as you can see, when you press stop, it will say edit. You can't just eject the disc. You've got to edit the table of contents. When it has, you can then eject the disc. And there you go. All that song data is now on the disc. Pretty nice looking things as well, aren't they? They've got all the charisma of tapes, but they are digital. And there's no distortion or hiss or... No, we'll have to worry about Dolby or the tape being too slow in your player, like in your Walkman. All you got to do is slide it in and press play. So yeah, I think mini disc are a really cool little thing. So there you go. If you want to learn more about mini disc, heck moan who is in my feature channels, has a, a great selection of mini-disc videos, mini-disc related videos. I think you should go and watch, and so does Cbits Tech, who's also in my um, recommended channel. Other than that, that's it for the moment. I'll see you in the next video.